You've been playing a platformer with lots of pouncing. Uh, it's like a pogo stick platformer thing. Oh, shit. We're getting straight into it. Okay. Cool. Yes. We'll talk about video games. Talk cool, cool, about cool. video Let's... games. This checkpoint chats. You know, Maddie's been playing a bullshit platformer. <sighs> so I've been playing a game called Pogo Stuck Colon Rage with Your Friends because this game's got co op. I don't know why I'd ever played co op, but it, that's beside the point. So. This game came to my attention through a friend of mine, Cello, who often sends questions. Is he to a the, friend the or is he like an arch nemesis? He's no longer a friend after recommending this game. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, we all know me. I enjoy a good platformer. Uh, I'm a lover of Celeste, of Mario Maker, all these good times that like... And you're pretty good at them. They, oh, I mean, look, it's trial and error. So it's, it's, it's all these games that hit a certain part of my brain where... I'll struggle for hours on end, then I'll get it right that one time, and I'm like, oh, yes, like the, this, that was worth the effort. <laughs> that <okay."> dopamine hit. <laughs> that that dopamine hit. So Cello saw this. He's like, you know what? I know of this really difficult game. I've seen like YouTubers or people play it, whatever. It's called Pogus. Like, um, yeah, and why don't you give it a bash? Um, he knew what he was doing. He was like, sure, I'm going to fuck with Matthew. Talking about that made me parched. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, I just, uh, like after months of just not trying it, I was like, I don't actually have anything to stream. Let me let me buy it off Steam. It's super cheap. I mm-hmm. think it's like 40, 50 rand maybe. Can't and put a price I, on your rage. You can't put a price on anger. That's true. Uh, for everything else is MasterCard. <laughs> um, <God>. But <laughs> but the premise of the game is that you are just a random person literally bouncing on a pogo stick. And you're trying to climb, I don't know if it's a mountain, it's just like a weird mishmash of random items and locales, whatever. Um, But you're just trying to use your poker stick to navigate up, I suppose, this figurative mountain or whatever the hell it is. And it's really complicated. It's not a simple thing of you moving left and right, jumping high, jumping down, whatever. The only controls you have is that you can rotate your poker stick clockwise or anti-clockwise. And you have one button which will give you a higher jump. And that's the control scheme. Okay. But they add a bit of depth in the sense that if you do a full 360 rotation in the air, then you land, you boost higher. Oh, God. So that's what does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So, like, I'm obviously mounting the spots. I jump high, do a 360, I get a boost, I jump even higher. And I'm sure that um, comes into like, you will need to do that you, at certain you points need to, here. Yeah, you need to use that to obviously build heart over platforms, whatever. Mm. But where the real depth of the game comes in is that, um, so there's that. I mean, that sounds very simple. And it is very simple to understand, you know. But where the depth comes in is that the, the surface you land on, the angle obviously affects how you bounce up. So if you land on a flat surface and you aim, like if you land perfectly straight, whatever, you're going to bounce straight up in the air. But there's no flat surfaces in this game. Everything's got like a slight tilt or a very steep angle. And it like really screws with you because it's very precise. How you land dictates where you go. Mm-hmm. Um, and this game has proven to be incredibly frustrating. But what I've been telling everyone, I can't even be mad at the game because it's actually very well made. Like it feels good to bounce around. And the puzzles are designed like any other good platformer like there's just a very specific way of doing it and when you learn how to do it it is very satisfying however the game is just designed to be very difficult to the point where uh, i think there's two levels in the game but i I haven't even looked at the second level i'm only on the first level and it shows you your progress i've made i'm probably 40 i think i'm 48 percent of the way through the first level Uh uh, after 10 hours of (gasps) playing this game close on 11 hours fuck that um, but here's, here's the kicker. Okay. So I got to, I think after my first stream, so let's say five hours, I got to the parts I'm stuck on now. It's like a part just by a tree on Thursday. I streamed a full five hours and I've progressed like half a percent, one oh percent up God. the tree. Cause where the game really messes with you is that if you, if you do a puzzle wrong, there are certain parts of the game where you can fall back down like lots to levels you've already overcome before. Um, oh, so, so yeah, there's no like be, there's no like checkpoint. No, 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 no oh, absolutely God. not. And there's there's very few safe zones where like if you fall, you'll just land in this area, or whatever. Mm-hmm. So what happens is the part I'm climbing, there's just this huge open gap on the left. And if you bounce wrong, you just fall down the mountain like a very very long way. But this is where I'm like, my, me being stubborn. Sometimes it's a good thing. In this case, it's a curse because. 
I yeah. like, refuse to give up on this game. But I, I say that, but I, I do still admit though, it's a lot of fun. Like it is satisfying. It's got mm. all those core qualities of a good platformer that I really enjoy. It's just really difficult, and it's oh, it's it's weird because it's a bit it's a bit cathartic. I know it doesn't look like it's cathartic when I'm like getting upset. Oh, definitely like, not. There, there's a there's a great clip of you streaming where you just like take off your headphones and walk away. I just you walk just, away. Like, I think this. that's the only time because I was like, holy shit! Like after all of this, <laughs> where did you go? Did you just go punch a hole in the wall or? No, I just I was like, I need to take a two minute break from this quickly. <laughs> um, but. But it's interesting is that, so like I've said, I've fallen down before and like any good platformer. So like, here's, here's a good example. If you've played, you've played Celeste, you play the main campaign, those mm -hmm. first few levels are very challenging because it mm -hmm. takes you a while to figure out how to do it, whatever. But then you go back and you start collecting the strawberries and you, sure, you start through those first levels. Destroying those levels, yeah. Because, and then it, they're actually very easy. You're like, oh, like I understand this game. Well, I'm, I really understand the movements. It's not that difficult. Mm -hmm. And this game has element. Like it takes a lot longer, I feel, to learn that in this game. Um, but it definitely has that. So the, the times when I've fallen down and like literally remember that overcoming the one section you have to repeat took me like nearly four hours to get to the top of it my goodness i fell down and i managed to do it in like the first 10 minutes so like it's weird how there's that muscle memory that just kicks in and you just mm -hmm. understand you've done it so many times you understand how to do it again now i mean on thursday i fell down maybe 10 times i'd say but i managed to get up that part like with almost minimal fuss every time um so yeah I, i'm gonna give it like a, a thursday was a an evening of soul searching. I was like, do I carry on? <laughs> yeah, 0.5% do, do, is... Uh, do I carry on playing this game? Because like in damn. my head, I'm thinking it took me five hours to make that little progress. Like, am I going to spend 100 hours playing this mm. game, for example? Mm. And it's not worth it. You know, if it's that long, it's not worth it. Um, but I've decided I will keep trying. I'll play it again on Tuesday and see if I can get past the section and take it from there. Because I, I've seen, I've looked up reviews now and it's actually, if you want, want to laugh, go read some Steam reviews of this game. There's some wild outlandish things <laughs> that i've said like i think the thing yeah. that that i i mean i've only watched briefly you play but like the thing that sticks out to me is one of the hardest elements is that you you never stop moving like your no. character's always pogoing so mm. you never have this like chance of just like standing surveying your surroundings and like you know making a decision it's always like mm. you're making these little micro hops and you've always got to be adjusting your angle so it's just mm. like tension all the it's time like always uh i'll this game i don't think i've ever sweated as much <laughs> in any other game just just from even just doing normal stuff i'm like holy yeah. shit like this is really stressful especially um, i mean considering you say there's very few safe areas so over your five hours there's very few times where you're like able to just take a breather because mm. you can just fall back down. Yeah. Well, look, like the part where I'm at now, you're sort of in a, a little pit. But the moment you get out of it, you you could fall down. I mean, I, I know that there are later parts in the game where you'll just fall back down to almost, say, the beginning. Mm -hmm. But the point is you, mm -hmm. you're so good at the you, – you've learned the game enough now that you can, you know, make that up a progress – in if I got time. if I got to like an eighty percent and fell down to thirty, I'd just like <laughs> uninstall well, that here's, game. Here's the thing, okay? So the average playthrough, what I like from what I've read and looked up on Steam reviews and just in general, people say it takes him twenty to thirty hours to finish wow. this level. Okay. That's incredible. But the speed run time is like under four minutes. <laughs> oh, because they've just they've understood it completely. <laughs> they just so. they, yeah, I think I think there are some shortcuts, but the people just that's that's how short the level mm. actually is you know it's just that extended play time comes from you just repeating the same thing trying to get the movement right and again like i can't be mad at the game because the movement is good and there are those little nuances so so i'm going to keep using celeste as an example because i know you've played that it's the same as like you get like um you learn little subtle movements of like bouncing in certain directions, that sort of thing. Yeah. In this game, it's the same thing I've, I've now learned on Thursday. Um, there's there's a very there's like a split second when you land where you can adjust your angle. You can actually use that to your advantage to get up some some um, points that you actually shouldn't have, like some jumps you shouldn't have made at all. Um, so, so like, it's like little, you can are, Skyrim your way up a jump. <laughs> well yeah i mean there are there are those little nuances which I, on tuesday i didn't know that i was just bouncing off the wall like oh like damn it i got the angle wrong yeah now i'm like 
oh shit, I landed skew, but I can quickly adjust and like save this jump, you know? Okay. Oh, and one, one, one other thing I must mention, that the, the game is gracious in that there is a comeback mechanic, um, which is very hard to pull off, but I'll explain how it works. So if I fall off the mountain, let's say, okay, yeah. I, 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 I fall 100 meters, whatever, I will bounce back up that same height, which means that if I fall off a platform, I'm going to do a very high jump back up to the same point I fell off, which means I can uh, recover my jump sometimes. Okay. Now, it's very it's very difficult to pull off, but it is possible to recover some mistimed jumps. And I've done some bullshit things this week where I've like looked away and looked back. I'm like, oh my God, I landed back where I started. Like, how lucky. <laughs> <laughs> um, but look, the, the game the game is very difficult, but I'm, I'm going to keep keep trying to see how it mm-hmm. goes. So watch the space. Sick. It's some poo. Some pergo stuck. Yo, what a pain. But it's, it's uh, again, it's wildly cathartic. I, I can't explain why. <laughs> pergo stuck, rage with your friends. Mm. My goodness. What a name. It just tells you everything you need to know. It tells you everything you need to know. 